Yo, what's up guys? So in this video, I'll be teaching you the second deal. Now the second deal, you might be thinking to yourself, well, there's only one thing you can do with it, is dealing from the second from the top in gambling demonstrations. That's false. This move can be applied to so many things in card magic. I mean, you can use it as a force or a switch or a control. Let's get into it. All right, so the second deal, I mean, you guys know what it is, but I'm just making this video to, you know, try to make it easier on you and give you some helpful tips and ideas about it, all right? So let's make it interesting. Let's try to find the ace of spades, all right, with the use of my phone. Hey, Google, name a number between 1 or 10 and 20. Here's a random number, 13. 13, let's see if we can find the ace of spades with number 13, all right? So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 13. Ah, oh, we got it, the ace of spades. So what I've just done is add Marlowe's flying touches on the push off second deal. And in this video, I'll be going over how to do that exactly with as much detail as possible and some finer points on it and some things you can do with it like different tricks and forces and switches and controls and things like that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So the key point in any type of false deal is doing the false deal exactly the way you would normally deal cards, all right? So this is how I normally uh, deal cards. This just feels natural for me. And this sort of rocking back and this, you know, movement of both of my hands is how I really deal cards for real, all right? So what needs to happen is I need to make my second deal or my bottom deal look exactly like my real deal. And you know, sometimes that's a little bit hard to do, but you wanna make it, or at least try your best to make it look like that exactly as close as you can, all right? So for instance, if I was dealing like this and all of a sudden I start doing second deals like this, you know, a lot differently, or if I was doing, you know, dealing cards over here like this, and then over here I was like, doing something crazy like that, that's gonna be really, uh, really weird, right? So let's say for instance, I was just dealing cards over here like this, at this speed, I do the same thing over here. Uh, it has to be the same thing, if those were seconds and those are regulars, they have to look exactly the same is what I'm trying to say, all right? So also, if you're doing a trick where you're dealing cards for real and then you do a trick where you are required to do a second deal and it looks totally different, people will notice that. So you came here to learn the second deal. You didn't come here to learn theory, all right? So this is exactly what you're going to do for the second deal, all right? So let's get my ace of spades out so we can uh, use a fancy card to demonstrate the second deal, all right? So what's going to happen, I'll keep it face up, is you're going to deal the card off like this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You're going to, as you start to deal the card, you want to have the tip of your thumb on the card, on the top card itself, all right? So, um, as you're doing that, you want to sort of bend your thumb like this up if you can. I don't, I don't know if everybody can do that, but that's a good thing to be able to do if you want to do a good second deal, all right? So as much as you can, bend that thumb up so you can take the ball of your thumb, you know, the middle joint there, and contact that second card, all right? So your thumb tip pushes over the first card and you, you know, bend your thumb, bend your thumb up to take the second card with your the ball of your thumb there to push it over as well, all right? So it's a two card push off, kinda. They don't have to be aligned at all, all right? So mine are never aligned, it doesn't have to be, all right? So you're gonna push over with your tip of your thumb, at the same time pushing the second card over. Now what's gonna happen is you're going to retract that top card back like this as you take that second card, all right? So notice how this card is not going to be fully flush with the deck, all right? So every time you're doing the second deal, you don't. You always wanna leave a brief of the second card there open, all right? So that's the way, it's very easy to always just deal cards uh, with the ball of your thumb, all right? So this is, but think of it as dealing cards with the ball of your thumb or that joint of your thumb there, all right? So the, the top card is just there for cover, so just think of doing this all the time with the ball of your thumb. <laughs> so just dealing cards like that. All you're doing with the ace of spades is keeping it out of the way so that you can deal that second card with that ball of your thumb, all right? So again, you're like this, tip of your thumb goes down on that ace of spades, pushing the second card over with the ball of your thumb, retract and take it like this. Again, you're like this, the ace of spades really never goes flush because you're just dealing cards uh, with the ball of your thumb there that's always open, all right? So it's always has it open and it's right below the ball of your thumb there. I've probably said ball of your thumb like 10 times now. 
Um, you can see how that's always open for me to just grasp it with the, the thumb there like that, all right? So it's never going flush. It's always there ready for me to get a purchase on to push it over. Uh, and by the way, this is exactly how my second deal is. It's really that sloppy, but when you're in motion, nobody's ever gonna see that, all right? So an, an, another good touch is to keep the deck sort of neck tight like this also, all right? So, or tilted like this so they can't really see what's happening with the deck, all right? So you're like this doing seconds. And I mean, look at this. You would swear that I'm dealing off the top of the deck, but obviously I'm not because you can see the face of Ace of Spades. So here's a really tight shot of exactly what's happening, and I'll go as slow as I can, all right? So like I said, the tip of the thumb goes on the top card. About, uh, if you're right-handed, it'll go, you know, on the pip there, but I'm, you know, left-handed, so that's not possible for me. So it goes about right there on the corner of the card, or close to the corner. Push over with the tip of your thumb, and you're like this, you just retract that take the second card and notice how the ball of my thumb is always on top of that exposed second card. So all I gotta do is bend the, th bend the thumb up like this and it happens automatically. Bend it in like this. You're always just taking that second card and it's very easy because you're always just leaving it exposed. So it's it's super easy guys. There's not really much to it other than this. And the, the main thing you wanna do is just get consistent so you don't miss cards, all right? So you're like this, both hands are in motion, and then when you um, are like this, it just looks it just looks great. It does take a lot of practice, guys. I'm not gonna lie, it's taken me close to 15 years to get my second deal to look this good, or you know, I think it looks pretty decent at least. But uh, you're not gonna get it overnight if, you know, if you've never done it before. But I think the tips that I've provided will help you along your journey to get it faster, all right? So um, another good touch, so if you really want to fool the, fool the magicians, fool the, fool the boys, is I have it second or third from top like this. That, oh, two sevens. Lucky, lucky. <laughs> Maybe third from top. That way you can deal uh, real cards off, you know, deal cards off the top for real. But uh, when you're ready to go for your second deals, uh, just do it, start doing it seconds on the third card there, all right? So it looks like, um, so let's say somebody names the number seven, all right? So I would go one, two, and notice the first two are real, so they're already full to this point. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, and seven. I mean, there's so many tricks you can do with the second deal, any card, any number, you know, a stop force, a spelling. So a good practice drill or a good practice exercise to keep your second deals consistent and looking as close to your real deal as possible is to alternate between second deals and legitimate deals, all right? What I mean by that is deal just a single card, a real card, and then after that, do a second deal, all right? So just keep your hands exactly the same motions throughout. So you're dealing a single, a second, second, you, or you can do deal, 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 second, second, second. All right, it's up to you, just, uh, it's a, I think it's a very nice practice exercise, like I said, to get consistent with how you normally deal and uh, your hand movements and to really nail those second deals every time. So a really nice thing you can do with the second deal is obviously switch a card. You can use it as just a switch by itself to force a card or anything you want to do. So let's say for instance, I wanted to force the ace of spades on somebody, all right? So I, what I would do is I could dribble the deck, have them say stop, pull that card out and put it back on top. Now you need a reason why you're putting the card back on top, all right? So let's say I had like a card box uh, close by. So once again, I'm like this, I pull the card out, put it right back on top of that ace of spades, and let's say, let's put it somewhere so nobody can see it, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is do the cover for the second deal. All right, I do it, I grab the box and put it under the box, all right? So it looks like the card that's been taken out and put under the box is just a random card, but I've switched it using uh, the second deal for the ace of spades. You can use it for a control, so maybe uh, you're like this. Uh, just say stop sometime as I drop cards on the table. Stop right there, oh, the seven of hearts. Just put it uh, back in the middle, and then we'll square the deck up, and uh, your card is on top of the deck with the use of a second deal. How cool is that? Obviously, you can use it as a dealing force. So let's say maybe you have your force card third from top. You can do that thing like I was talking about earlier. As I deal cards, just uh, just say stop any time, all right? So make it some place where I can't force it. Just uh, make it completely random, whatever you want to say. You're just doing second deals the whole time, but uh, when, when they say stop, you've uh, forced the ace of spades. 
You can even use it as a sandwich, all right? So maybe we have two kings over here. Uh, what I'll do is I'll just drop cards like this. Just say stop anytime. Stop right here on the queen of hearts. Perfect, I'll put that back right there and uh, close up the deck. So your card is about the middle of the deck, but these kings are actually a magic kings. So all I gotta do is put them on top, give them a snap, and look, we got uh, three cards. One card in between the kings, and your card, the queen of hearts. Nothing but a second deal for this trick, guys. So once again, we can do the second deal control. They look at a card, nine of hearts, do the second deal as a control. Looks like it's in the middle of the deck, really it's on top already. All right, so all you're gonna do is put the kings face down on top, say they're magic kings, put them over face down, give it a snap, and deal the first king legitimately. The second card will be a second deal, and because that's the card, all right, so deal the other one legitimately. That's the card there, and the card looks like it appears in between the two magic kings. And all it is is a second deal, so once again, the card is uh, on top. So obviously, you're going to just deal the first card normally. Now, the, their card is second from top, so you do a second deal like this. Put it face down, deal the third one face up, and that is the second deal sandwich. Another cool thing about this push-off second deal is that you can do it with one hand, and it's sometimes called the New Theory second deal by Marlo and Derek Dingle and those you know, classic guys. Uh, its main use is to switch a card. So let's say we uh, wanted to switch a card out of a dribble. Uh, they say stop right here on the two of clubs. So we can put it over here, but that's been switched for the king of clubs. Now this particular switch uses the natural moisture or the tackiness, uh, the clamminess of your thumb, all right? So what's going to happen is you're going to show a card like this, or it can be done off the top of the deck. Hey, it's David Blaine. And yeah, sorry, <laughs> do it off the top of the deck like this. And uh, what's gonna happen is you go to do the second deal like normal. However, you're going to sort of jerk it off the deck. <sighs> going to sort of toss it off the deck and what's going to happen is you want to sort of push down on that top card. What's going to happen is go going to cause uh, a gap between the top card and that other card there. So you're sort of like allowing the second card to be tossed because you're sort of lifting the top card with your thumb right there with the tackiness of it. So a slow motion would look like this. I'm going to switch the Jack of Hearts for the other card here, King of Clubs. Actually does take a lot of practice, that's why I saved it for last, but uh, I think it's very effective. I think you'll really enjoy doing it once you get it mastered, all right? So I'll do it one more time, just so you can see it again, all right? So the King of Spades, David Blaine, one more time, and uh, we'll put it over there. And he's changed himself into the Five of Clubs. He's a magician, he can't help it. Marlo does use this technique as sort of a light uh, touch for a switch also. It looks incredible. I mean, when I first saw him do it, I thought, there's no way that's a second deal. But uh, Ed Marlowe is just, uh, he's just, he's incredible. And if you ever see the chance to see him perform, maybe on, uh, there are some old clips on YouTube. Maybe I'll leave some links down below. It's just a real, it's, it's nice to watch him perform. Anyway, so we have the top card here, uh, the two of clubs. So you want to put it over here. And I believe it or not, that actually is a switch. So what's gonna happen is this, the top card to a clubs, we'll switch it for the second card, obviously the second deal. All right, so you do the push off like normal, like this, like we talked about. Now what's gonna happen is you wanna use the table and gravity to help you out with this, all right? So you'll, like normally you just push it back and you allow the edge of that second card to hit the table like this. And as you push back and move the deck like this, that just falls to the table like that. So one more time, you're like this, push back, use the table like this to just move that card out as you turn your wrist like that. But uh, doing it with the hand hiding everything that's happening, it's a completely invisible and beautiful switch. All right, so the two of clubs is being switched out for the second card like this. And wow, look at that. There's just so many things in magic you can do with the second deal. I mean, think of how many tricks you can do with the force alone and using a second deal to force the card in the various ways that we have explained. Or think about how many tricks you can do with a switch, with the various types of switch maneuvers I've explained with the second deal. Uh, there's just so, or controls even, you can uh, think of how many tricks you can do with the control. Man, the possibilities are endless. If you just use the second deal for everything in your magic, I think you'd be all right. So I'll see if I can get a good trick for you guys uh, right now. So let's see if we can get a good card to use for this trick, all right? so. Let's see if uh, we can get a good card. 
Oh, the five of hearts. No, that's actually a, that's actually a magic card to use. One of the best ones to use for this. All right, so we'll uh, shuffle the deck, and I actually have no idea where that five of hearts is right now. But uh, all I have to do, is, since this is the five of hearts, the magic card, and I just give it a snap like this. I can always find it like this. Check this out. All we do is spell five of hearts. Let's so check this out. That's uh, F I V E, right? O F H E R T S, and that's the five of hearts. All right, guys, so I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I really hope you got some value out of it and I hope that you learned maybe something new about the second deal that you didn't know before. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and please sub to the channel. It helps me out more than you might think. And until next time, happy practicing. I love you guys.